the nature of this project was to give back to the neighborhood something that they lost. The park itself had to have a full host removal done on it in 2011. The Asian longhorn beetle was discovered in the park and it's about 14 acres of parkland in the city. So it's a relatively large parcel for this neighborhood. And when many of its trees were removed, the neighbors were all devastated. It used to be pretty much completely forested and it lost about eight acres of trees. Uh, not completely, there are some remnants and the, there's one giant swath that we're in the middle of, of oak trees and cherry trees. And those are still standing, but we had to replant a lot. Our funders helped us to come in and plant trees and shrubs in this area and get the park restarted. And it also serves as a resource for other people who lost their trees in other neighborhoods to come and see the trees that we are planting as part of the reforestation effort. So here we had to reforest with things that weren't going to be affected by the beetle. So things like pines and oaks and even southern species that are now hardier here, like sweet gum and Kentucky coffee tree. And because New England is full of sugar maples and other hardwoods that the beetle likes to eat, if it were to escape out of Worcester's quarantine zone, then you could see it spreading much more quickly through the rest of the forest.